or not making sense? Making sense. Yeah. Uh, it more, um, is Mona Linga there? She was asking about the lesson. I don't see her. She was asking about the physics lesson. How come she's not in the lesson? That's all right. You're making sense now. So which point could be could PQ represent? PQ is the liquid cooling, like what yes. The liquid cooling. The opposite of that now. A student wishes to check the upper and lower fixed points. So we'll talk about the design of a thermometer. So upper and lower fixed points. So you can tell from this here, you've got that and you've got that. So your fixed point from this thermometer is zero. What is zero? Zero is fixed point for what? For ice, huh? So melting point huh? for water. Huh? melting point of pure water. So maybe of freezing point of pure water, clear. Then 100 degrees boiling point of pure water. Pure water, clear. So she's got four test tubes. Which two biggest should she, she, she use to check what? So the moment I have salt, it's an impurity. Huh? Yeah. So impurities in physics, they increase. So you can write that impurities increase boiling what? Boiling point, clear. Impurities increase boiling point of water. Increase boiling point of water, clear. So the moment you have got salt, solid sugar, solution, whatever, the boiling point will be greater than what this. Huh? So we can't use that for designing the thermometer. Then impurities reduce melting point. Clear. These are key things that you need to write as huh? yes, we are doing this. So you're saying impurities. Um, Oh, no much is, is in the lesson. Maybe a thing is okay now. So the are we together? So what do we need? We need the zero, which is pure water. So let's see what are the answers. Containing boiling, no, we don't need this because it has impurities. Huh? So we don't need this because it has an impurities. Can you see that? So a mixture of your ice water and what boiling what water. So what becomes the answer? D. Clear? That's what we need. Then, this is where you need to be careful now. Now, same quantity of thermal energy, we are adding same energy, is supplied to two substances, X and Y. The temperature increase of object A is greater than what? Is greater than Y. Which statement is correct? Now be careful now. I'll give you an example before we look at the answers here. Let me give you an example of copper and water. What did you say was the thermal heat capacity of water? 4,200. Joules per kg per degree Celsius. Huh? Clear? And we said for copper, if I'm correct, I think it's about 830. You don't Thanks. have to remember it, huh? It's very, it's like this. So copper has a low thermal capacity. Copper, lower thermal capacity, you see, than water. Do you know what it means? It means copper is a good conductor of what? Of heat. What is thermal capacity? It's the energy that you require to raise one kg of a, one kg of a substance by what? By one degree. 
So if you need a very high thermal capacity to raise by one degree, it means it's a poor what? Poor conductor. Poor conductor. Is that making sense? So if you look at this here, they are saying these two substances, solids, these are both solids. The temperature, the increase, okay? The temperature increase of substance X, because we're applying the same amount of energy. The temperature increase of X is greater than Y. So X here has got a temperature increase greater than Y. Temperature increase. Huh? Okay. So if it increases, yeah. it has got a temperature increase, it means it has got a lowered thermal capacity. Because if you had to heat the same amount of copper and whatever, there you expect to have a great clear, because it requires less energy. So it will have a higher temperature increase. Are we together there? So it means, if you look at what I've just said here, it means X has a lower thermal capacity than Y. Than Y. Yeah. That making sense? Or oh, slowly? X has a lower thermal capacity than Y. It simply requires less energy. That's why when you're giving them the same amount of energy, X would have a larger increase in temperature, clear, than Y. Yeah, yeah. Are we together? You guys, Laura, you are quiet. Yeah. Which yeah, statement PSC. describes what happens is ice at zero degrees starts to melt and become water. What did you say? At melting, we said temperature remains what? From your cooling case. At melting, at boiling, at freezing, at condensation, temperature remains constant. Melting <laughs> is what? Solid to liquid. Yeah? When that is happening, temperature remains constant. Why? Because energy is being absorbed. And the temperature remains constant. Clear? Making sense? Yeah. Or not making sense? What is meant by the fixed points of a scale of a liquid in glass thermometer? May fix. So what, what is the best answer there? And what's the best answer? Fixed points of a scale of liquid in glass thermometer. What's the correct answer? Fixed points, Yasha? Yasha, is it? And Tako's. Is Nyasha in the left hand? He's there. And Tako's guy have been quiet. B. Uh -uh. So, what we do when we are designing thermometers, huh? so that I explain this, but I will explain the next lesson, we'll look at that. So, we know that water, for example, um, freezes at zero degrees. Huh? Then we know that water boils at 100 degrees then we look for a liquid that has got a uniform linearity it's called a uniform rate of expansion so that every one degree increase it's expanding by the same rate we know that this is so, so whatever so let's say it expands from zero to whatever it expands by 22 centimeters then we simply divide by 100 so that we find so that we are able to mark these graduations are clear in design the thermometer. So it means the two agreed what temperatures used for marking the temperature scale, clear. The low and the maximum. Are we together? Yeah. Now, number six, application of what you have learned. A liquid at a room temperature fuse a flask and a glass tube to level X like that. Now, the flask is now placed in ice and the liquid level falls to Y. Liquid level falls to Y. Why does the liquid level fall? Is 
it's falling. Why does the liquid level fall? C, liquid contract. Do we all agree with him that the liquid, if you put it in something cold, it contracts? So if it oh, contracts, no, no. you know, you know, contradicting yourself. This liquid. Uh, yeah. I'm like, remember, I'm not sure. Because it, it, wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't make sense for the flask to. Remember, yeah. you are putting it in what? Look at this. You are putting the liquid in what? In, in cold what? In ice, huh? So if you are in ice, what mm -hmm. are you doing to the kinetic energy of these particles? You are decreasing the I'm kinetic energy. slowing it energy. down. Yes, are we together? So if you are decreasing the kinetic energy, the particles are moving closer to what? Together. We call oh, okay. that contraction. Huh? So, so okay. it contracts. So if it contracts now, because now it now old keeper is less what? The volume reduces. So it what? It goes down. If we do the opposite and put it in hot water, hot water now, it gains kinetic energy. The particles move further apart, so they expand. We call that expansion. Clear? So it means the liquid what? Contracts. Contracts. Okay. Is that clear, physics? Get on application. Mm -hmm. Not difficult. <clears throat> now, this is a tricky question. Melting point of ethanol and mercury are shown in the table. In that, <clears throat> which of these liquids is suitable to use in an in glass or liquid in glass thermometer to measure? You see, the temperature that you are given is what? To measure this temperature and to measure that temperature. Now let's okay. let's see now. To measure the temperature, so we want to measure the temperature range between this. Now, if we go to ether now here, okay, the temperature range between that. The challenge with mm. ether now, it won't be able to measure this, because ether now can only measure up to minus what. To minus yeah, one four four. And this is go to going to minus one twenty. Can you see that? Making sense? Mm. So if we read the question then and we apply the same, you see that we can't use neither ethanol or mercury for the range we are given. Are we together? Oh, okay. So it's none of the above. Yes, because we have to find a liquid that will be able to measure those two yeah. ranges. Before it melts. <laughs> okay. What quantity gives you the thermal capacity of a beaker? So it means what's, what's the best thermal capacity? You know, if thermal capacity, always think of thermal specific heat capacity. Yeah? Thermal capacity comes from specific heat capacity. So what's the best answer then? If specific heat capacity is the amount of energy required to raise one kg of a substance by one degree. So, but now we're simply talking of thermal capacity. So, what's the best answer? P. B. The <laughs> thermal energy required to raise the temperature of a bigger by what? By one degree. That's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, a jug of water is at room temperature. Several ice cubes <clears throat> at a temperature of zero degrees are dropped into the water and they begin to melt immediately. What happens to the temperature of the water and what happens to the temperature of the ice cubes when they are melting? Good question. Tandy, what's the best answer? The girls are quite normal. What would be the best answer? Application. What would be the best answer? Then? Oh, B. B. Maybe. B, she says B. What do we know about melting? Yeah, B. What do we know about melting? Melting ice temperature is constant. Huh? When it's, yes, it's, yeah. it's melting. Temperature is constant. 
So the ice temperature is constant, temperature is constant. But the water now, because you're adding ice, the temperature what? decreases. Clear? Decreases, yes. So answer becomes B. Physics, we apply. Now that we have learned this here, yeah, they repeated that. Now let's see what you think then. An engineer wants to fix a steel washer onto a steel rod. So same material. The rod is just too big to fit into the hole of the washer. How can the engineer fit the washer onto the rod? So check your answers, Laura. The girls are quiet. You are saying B. D. 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 Do you yes. agree, Laura, D. with D? D. Karen, do you agree with D? Hit the washer. If you hit the washer, it expands and this hole what? Expands. And this hole widens uh, so that this can fit. Yeah. Not difficult. Clear? Mm -hmm. If you hit the road, this road just simply expands and it, it won't anyway, fit in this. Clear? Mm -hmm. If you cool them at the same rate, then this one will contract and no, contract and at, at the same rate, they will stay the same. <laughs> yeah. I already get that. Simple physics, not difficult. Mm -hmm. huh? What if they said, what if they said, cool the rod? Cool the rod and keep the, Let's see what he's talking about. Cool the rod and keep the washer. They, You're saying cool the rod? One of the options was to cool the rod. What would you do? Yeah. <laughs> would you just say both of them? No, you, you, you can't have two answers <laughs> like this. How would you get it? Making mm -hmm. sense? Okay. No, number 12. Then. What do you do? The table lists the melting point and boiling point of four different substances. So this is good for chemistry. This is good for biology. Which substance is there is what is liquid at that? What is melting? Melting is solid to liquid. And boiling is what? Liquid to gas. So look, let's look, let's, let's apply. So it means at negative this, it turns to a liquid. Then it turns to a gas at minus what? At minus 83 degrees, which means at zero degrees, it's still a gas. So this is a gas here at zero degrees. Even at 20 degrees, it's still a what? A gas, huh? clear. Now let's go to the next one. It turns to a liquid at negative what? To a liquid, huh? at this. Yeah. So which means after seven degrees, negative six, negative two, zero, up to this, it only turns to a gas at 58. So it's a liquid here at zero. Let's go to this mm -hmm. one here. Turns to a liquid at 98 degrees, you see, which is above zero. Can you see that? So at zero degrees is a what? Yeah. It's a solid. Only turns at a very high temperature to a liquid. So it's a what? It's a solid. Yeah. Not difficult. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? B. B. Karen, are you there? Making sense? Mm -hmm. Is it there? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, to mark temperatures or a temperature scale on a thermometer, standard. Uh, thermometers or temperatures are known as fixed points, the ones that we're talking about are needed. Which of these fixed, which of these a fixed point on a Celsius, so you're talking of Celsius scale, you're talking at zero degrees and 100 degrees. Huh? Yes. So you need temperature of melting That's ice C. or temperature of boiling water. So C. Now, the, the diagram shows electric cables being put up on a warm day when it's warm. <clears throat> the cables are left loose between the poles, as shown in the diagram. Why are the cables left loose? They are no contracting cold days. Do you agree with him? Yes, sir. 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 Y
Uncoded. 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 So that they are straightened up. What? Are we agreeing? I agree. We are leaving them loose. Loose like that. So what's the best answer? The they, like, they, they contract on cold days. Who is saying B? How can contraction? Contraction always happens when you reduce temperature. But the idea we want the reason for the whole day they contract. Okay. Now number fifteen. There. Good question. The diagram shows you some ice being used to lower the temperature of some warm water. What is the main process? by which water at the top of the glass becomes cool. cool. Water at B. the bottom. Oh, sorry, at the bottom. Convection. Uh, convection. C. B. When we say the water is a poor conductor. C. So it's convection. I said that because you're saying water at the top. At the bottom. <laughs> okay. And now, the pressure of a fixed mass of gas in a cylinder is measured. The temperature of the gas in the cylinder is slowly increased. So we're increasing the temperature. The volume does not change. So volume does not change. Remember from the formula that I gave you, if volume is does not change, it means pressure is directly proportional to temperature. Clear. So now what are we increasing? we are increasing the temperature. So if we increase the temperature, the pressure increases. As long as the volume is what? Is constant. That's what we say. Clear or not clear? Clear, clear. Yeah. OK. But what's the best answer between B and C? C. It's C. Because you can never have oh, yeah, yeah, see, you can never have the pressure at zero. Because you're saying yes, if you're yeah. saying this, that's not correct. So the answer is what? C. No. Then you put that. Where must the bulb be placed at zero degrees? So that zero degrees can be marked easier. So that zero degrees can be marked. What the way do you place it? Hello. Do you place it in salt solution or what? Hello. Hi. D. 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 That's all done. Manaling is having net problems with network. So I think we are recording. So what did you agree with the answer? D, melting ice. Yeah. Okay. Two blocks, X and Y. Two metal blocks, X and Y, are at the room temperature. Each block is heated so that the temperature rises by what? By 10 degrees. The, the blocks are now allowed to cool uh, to cool back at room temperature. Block Y has a greater thermal capacity than block X. Which blocks which block needs more heat energy, more thermal heat energy to heat up to 10 degrees? Which block loses more thermal energy as it cools back to room temperature? Um, yes. What I think? Um. Dan D and Brandon Yaquais today. Most of them. That goes well. You always participate. What's uh, what's happening with you? And the answer is there. So what's the best answer? <laughs> I 
I told you what I said, if you remember. You said C. Oh, no, no, no. Um, it's B. No. Look at this here. What did you say? Block Y has a greater thermal mm. capacity than what? Thermal than X. So if it has a greater thermal capacity, it means X is a it's better. X, X is a good word. Is a good conductor or better conductor, if we put it that way. Better conductor yeah. of heat than what? Than Y. So to raise to, 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 to the same 10 degrees, Y, because Y needs more what? More energy, more heating. Was a poor conductor clear so why needs more heating okay why needs more heating clear because why requires more energy to raise temperature by one degree yeah? that's why it's just a higher them the more capacitor so why needs more energy to heat so if it needs more energy to heat why is also going to lose more what more energy to go back to same to what the same room temperature clear oh uh, so i can imagine <laughs> are we to get that under the why would also require lose so much energy so that it goes back to what to room temperature remember it has to absorb so much energy than x to raise that temperature by 10 degrees so for it to go back again it has to lose the same amount of energy, which will be greater than the energy uh, that the Y has, X has to lose. Is that making sense? So let's, let's give scenarios here. Let's say X requires 320 joules to raise from 20 degrees, which is room temperature, to 30 degrees. Then Y requires let's say um 500 joules to raise from 20 degrees to what to 30 degrees huh? 10 degrees huh? so now to take this y back to this would also lose how much 500 joules clear in this one we lose also the what 300 joules so that is back to this that's what you're simply talking about mm -hmm. making sense brendan Or slowly you are getting cooling. This is a heating cave, opposite of a cooling cave. Between which labeled points on yeah. the graph is the substance partly a solid and partly a liquid? Which one, Tembelani? Partly a solid and partly a liquid. Q. Q? Was that Andy or the one of the girls? He said, "Keyword." Thank you. Since I, that, that's why it's melting between P and Q. That's why it's melting. Ah, uh, Tandy, uh, you are not following the teacher here. If you check the other diagram that I gave, you look at this here, Tandy. This is a solid. Here. Solid. That you is what. You know. That is heating up. Follow me, Tandy. Solid heating up. If you don't have that, you can draw that huh? quickly in your physics notebook. Huh? A heating cave. You can everyone let's try to draw that if you don't have it. Solid heating up. It's a solid. I'll draw it after this. I don't have yeah. my book. Then this tandy here is the melting. What does melting mean? It means it's turning from solid to what? To liquid. So if it's turning from solid to liquid, you have a combination of a what? Of a solid plus a liquid. At this point here, when you is melting. Because it's turning from a solid to a liquid. It's this time here. That's why the temperature is not increasing because the energy is being absorbed so that we overcome the forces of attraction of a solid so that we turn to a what? To a liquid. Is that making sense now, Tan? Solid, melting is solid plus liquid. That's, that's the answer. Then at this now, is now completely what? A liquid. So it's a liquid heating up. Clear. Then now it's boiling. So at boiling, we expect to have a combination of a what? Of a gas plus liquid. Liquid, yes. Because the, the liquid is turning to a gas. Then after that, we have this. It's completely a gas. To complete this cooling cap. 
clear. So solid melting, which is solid plus liquid, the solid is turning to it's, it's happening at that. So it's melting. Then there is the liquid heating up like this. So it's completely a liquid. Then this stage here is boiling. So it's a combination of a gas plus a liquid. Then after that, temperature starts rising. It's now completely a gas. And we call that a heating case. Mm -hmm. The opposite is a cooling case. Making sense now? Yes. Physics. Your math is quite difficult. So we are learning now. Next time you will know this in and out. Did they repeat the question? Uh, fix the points. We now know them anyway. Zero and hundred. Okay. Thermal capacity of solid Y is greater than what? Than solid Z. What is the consequence of this? So that's the best answer. Think of what we've been talking about. D. Let's see, you said D. Thermal capacity of Y is greater than Z, which means Z is a better conductor. So Y needs more, yes, Y needs more thermal energy to raise the temperature by one degree, yeah? clear, than Z. A circular disk is heated, which quantity decreases? Physics. Which quantity decreases? Metal disc is heated. Which quantity decreases? Does the volume decrease or it increase? And the explanation, Brandon, volume does it increase or decrease? It increases, eh? it increases explanation easy. Uh, it's gaining more kinetic energy. More kinetic energy particles are spreading apart, they occupy more volume. Volume increase. And what is density? Density is mass over volume. The opposite is true for density and so if volume increases like this, density what decreases. Why? Because density is inversely proportional to volume. From this formula here. If mass is the one, if you increase mass, density increases. Huh? If you increase volume, density what decreases. So it means density what decreases. Making sense now. This was repeated. I'm sorry. This is a printing error here. Yeah. We'll look at another proper question which doesn't have a printing error. Now, what's the answer there? When steam condenses, it becomes liquid water. When the liquid water solidifies, it becomes ice. What happens to the temperature of the steam when it is condensing? And what happens to the temperature of the water when it is solidifying? Best answer, Norma, are you back? Mike, what's the best answer? What do you think? Mike, are you there? Can I see? No, I wanted the others to try. So that they participate, then we, 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 we correct from there. 
So, Mike, what's the answer then? What do you think? Tabuzo. And Mike, what do you think? Will be the best answer. Read the question. Understand the question first. So what, what happens? The girls? Are the girls there? We have 11, so the other guys may be cyanotric. Having metric issues. What do you think? B. Ah, 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 ah. Can I draw? Can I draw a cooling cave again here? Cooling cave. Is it not D? here. Let's draw a cooling cave again, so that maybe you are forgetting this is a cooling cave. No, so like this. So this is a gas. Listen very carefully. This is condensation. Huh? Condensation, temperature is constant. Then this, at this stage here, it's a liquid cooling. Yeah? Completely a liquid. Then at this stage here is freezing point. Then after that, it's completely a what? A solid. What are, what are the keywords here? Condensing means at condensation. Temperature is what? Condensation is a change of state. A change of state temperature is constant. Temperature is being absorbed so that we overcome forces of attraction. It solidifying its change of state, freezing. Temperature is what? Is constant, change of state. So what's the best answer? D. D, not difficult. I was explaining the cooling case. We've done the opposite. At melting, at boiling, temperature is constant. Clear? Then this one is quite obvious. And anyway, zero, the fixed points, and 100. Now, the next one. A telephone engineer connects a wire between two poles when the weather is very cold. He makes the wire loose. This wire passes over the road. The weather changes and becomes very hot. What could happen to the wire and why? What could happen to the wire? The weather changes and becomes hot. When it becomes hot, Sandy, hot, hot, particles in the wire gain what? Kinetic energy. So they always, when, when it's hot, when temperature increases, we always talk of expansion. Not contraction. Huh? Mm -hmm. It expands. Huh? So we can't talk of contraction. So what's the answer? D. The obvious answer D. anyway. D. Huh? It contracts. Mm. Are we together? Uh-huh. Quiet. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. In an experiment, a thermometer is placed in a test tube of hot liquid. The temperature of the liquid is recorded every half minute. The table shows you the results. What is the melting point? Now, what do we know about a melting point? What we just said, change of state, temperature is what? Constant. So where is temperature constant if we study this? Which temperature is constant there? 55. 55. 55. Yeah. It means that's yeah. where melting is taking place. Not difficult. That's the only part from that table where the temperature is constant. Clear? A liquid in glass thermometer is marked with a scale in degrees Celsius, like that. What is the temperature difference between the two fixed points? on this thermometer. So the fixed point on this thermometer is zero degrees, a degree Celsius, and 100. What is the difference? We subtract 100. Huh? Zero minus 100 is 100. Clear. Between the fixed points. 
which statement gives the thermal capacity of a solid object? What's the definition? Good definition. Or best definition from given definition. Mm. B. B, correct. The energy per degree needed to raise temperature of a body. This is the same. One line is the same. Yeah, it's the exact same question. Yeah, but this you mean error. No. Equal masses of two different liquids are put in two identical beakers. Liquid Y is heated for 100 seconds. Liquid 2 is heated for 200 seconds by a heater of the same power. The temperature of both liquids increased by the same amount. Uh, same amount. Which statement is correct? Same amount. Temperature is increasing by same amount, but this one you are heating, you are heating it the time twice. Huh? Liquid two, you are heating it for two hundred what? Two hundred seconds. This one for only hundred seconds, but you are getting a same same temperature increase, which means this one is a poor what? Poor conductor. Clear. Which is a high what? Thermal capacity. Making sense? You are reasoning like that before you even go to the answers. Huh? High thermal capacity. So the thermal capacity of one is less than the yes. thermal mm -hmm. capacity of one. I'm sorry. I meant the other way around. <laughs> now the next one. The metal surface of a, of a kettle is what? What happens to the cool air outside the kettle when it comes into contact with the hot kettle? Easy. What's the best answer? Best answer. B and C the same thing. Yes. They're not the, are they the same? And A and D are the same. No, they're, they're different. Yeah. What do you mean? A oh, no, mind. Sorry. Sorry. No, they are different. Um, yeah, it's B. B. This is the density decreases and the A rises. That's what you said. Convection currents. Because it becomes warm, so the density decreases. Clear, and it rises. Now, number 30. The diagram shows you four blocks of steel. The blocks are all drawn to the same scale. The same quantity of thermal heat is given to each block. Which block has the greatest rise in temperature? So which one? A. A. Correct. The one with the smallest surface area, clearly remember, because they are made of the same, same, same material. Are we together? Yeah. Now, a mercury thermometer with no scale is tapped on, onto a ruler as shown. When the thermometer is placed in steam, the mercury level rises to what? To 22, huh? which means at boiling, huh? at boiling of the mercury. Look at this. So this is at boiling of the mercury. Then there is at um, freezing yeah, of the mercury. Now anyway, or melting, sorry, of the mercury. Now look at this. So that and that. So if you go back to this, we are saying when it's zero degrees, 
it said what a chore when it's sorry not not sorry whatever the boiling point is huh? is that mercury okay we're talking of water yes so we're talking of water here melting ice okay in steam so at 100 degrees is what is 22 huh? clear so what is the difference here from rising from 2 to 22 what is the difference is 20 huh? 20 what centimeters but 20 centimeters divided by remember this is from zero degrees to 100 we want the the rise per degree huh? so it's what per every degree is 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 centimeters per degree that's our expansion huh? we are assuming that mercury is expanding at a uniform rate so 0 comma 2 per degree so per 10 degrees what will be the increase you multiply this by 10 it will be two centimeters two centimeters per 10 degrees so it means from the two here to four this is 10 degrees clear from four to six is another 10 degrees to 20 degrees from six to eight is another 10 degrees to 30 what degrees of that making sense yeah Or you didn't understand some yeah. designing this. Okay. Do you get it, guys? We'll look at the design. Oh, yeah, Next lesson, we'll start from the thermometers. Next physics lesson. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.